Hi, I'm Andy from FPG, and today is the Deployer XP. So the Deployer XP is our largest bag in the Deployer family. It is our heavy hitter for moving large loads, and it has an NSN for easy government purchasing. So I'll work my way around the bag and show you guys its features. So starting out, it has a gym bag handle on top. You can see the gym bag handle is stitched all the way around the chassis to support the heaviest loads. All right, you open it up, and then you can see here that it has ergonomic and removable shoulder straps. They're adjustable. And then you got a sternum strap here that's adjustable that slides up and down. Uh, very comfortable for both male and female users. On the bottom, to get out of this thing when it's in a ruck, uh, when ruck mode, the Marine Corps had a requirement that it had to be able to be donned and doffed quickly. So a simple click and this thing cuts away from you. Next, we have these load cinching straps, right? These load cinching straps are unique on this particular bag because they are long enough to be able to extend around a second bag. So a very popular uh, option is that people put our smart pack duffel on top of this and that gives you a two bag one rolling chassis scenario so it frees up that other hand for your weapons case or whatever else you may be carrying. That's a unique feature to this bag and our smaller bags in a deployer family have to utilize extender straps. That's more common here so this bag comes with the longer straps. On the front, you can see here it has more cinching straps that control whatever is inside this nice side pouch. Okay, that adds to the capacity because the deployer here is 31 inches long, roughly 8,500 cubic inches in capacity. You can see here it has the molly attached to it so you can bean her in, uh, clip in more items. It has it all around the top as well. On the bottom, you can see here that it has Hypalon on all the high contact areas. Lifting handles on the end. On this end, it has more Hypalon on the contact areas. And our toe handle, you can see here that it is a simple toe handle. And that's by design. So at FPG, we intentionally don't put collapsible or extending aluminum uh, handles inside our bags because they break. And when they break, that's it. Your bag is, is uh, non-operative. So because our bags are designed to be thrown out of helicopters or off the back of trucks, we make them as simple and as robust as we can while putting the technology in that's needed. So on the end, we'll go back to the toe end, you can see here it has a nice identification pouch. This trap door is a very handy feature because when your bag's totally loaded or it's on the pallet and you need to get that one last thing or stow one more thing into it, you can have easy access to it. You can see here as well, this trap door illustrates how thick our bags are, right? Our name's Force Protector Gear, so by nature, we protect your gear. And this shows a good picture of our foam tech system. It's a combination of foams, uh, both closed and open cell, that protect your gear. And the bags, all our wheeled bags, with the exception of the collapsible deployer, are built with this manner. You can see that it squishes and comes back to its open shape. That's like our bread and butter. All right? Moving to the bottom, you can see here on the bottom, Notice the trapezoid shape, right? The trapezoid shape, that's unique to the Deployer XP chassis, and that provides a very stable base for hauling heavy loads over uneven surfaces, dragging it across the rocks, uh, off curbs, etc. Very stable. You can see here this rubber runners. It has two extruded rubber runners on the bottom, and you can see that they're bolted in. We don't use any rivets in our bags whatsoever. The whole point is that this bag can be rebuilt in the field. So with a simple 
3 8 wrench and a screwdriver, you can replace the rubber runners, a wheel, etc. Everything's tied in with our 16 bolt system. On the bottom here, you can see more Hypalon, right? That's the same stuff that they use on the bottom of Zodiac boats. So very robust, lasts a long, long time. More Hypalon on the bottom in the contact patch. And then you can see here, ballistic nylon as the bottom fabric of the bag. Turning it over, you can see here, we have stainless steel wheel housings on our Deployer XP and our all our uh, Deployer bags. All right, these are inline skate wheels. You can replace it in the field. Stainless steel, this is the same system that the Marine Corps tested and Natick tested when they were testing the collapsible deployer, right? It was dropped from 16 feet, various angles with 100 pounds of sandbags in it. Uh, it was crush test with 1,000 pounds on it, and it still was able to pass the test and be utilized and be workable at the end of that test. Same system. Opening up the bag on the inside, right, you can see here in the lid, you have four pouches to lid, live from. Very handy. You can see how thick the lid is. Again, that's our foam tech system protecting your gear. You can see here that there is a GP pouch for stowing stuff. And then inside of it, it has a removable pad. You can sit on that if you like. And this shows our base. And you can see here the bolts, lock nuts. There are no rivets. And you can see the polymer base. And you can also see that this base, just like our bags, you can bend it, crunch it, crush it, twist it, and it still comes back to its normal uh, shape. You open that up there, you pull that back, and you can see you have access. You have access to the cotter keys. If you need to replace a wheel only in the field, you just pull the cotter pin and slide in a new one. So, Deployer XP comes in Coyote, Multicam, Black, and Red. Check it out on our website, forcesprotector.com.